Hello everyone, I'm going to be doing a guide slash tutorial for Metal Slug 3. Um, this is going to show you how to, once you see the game, or one credit clear, one coin clear, etc. Um, this is going to be a no-cut guide, so I'm going to try to cram as much information as I can with no cuts and go to the end, uh, full commentary. Okay, so I'm just going to get right into it. Mission 1. Okay. So, first off, you don't need to get these point items. These are optional. Point items in this game don't actually count towards getting an extend. Uh, you always have two lives and no extends yeah so you're just gonna take the HMG and mow down these crabs on default they should always die uh, pretty easily uh, don't be afraid to use the knife uh, collect the bombs from the POW and the grenade shot and you can one shot all these crabs coming up here Just keep one-shotting them. Use the remainder of your grenade shot on these uh, dragonflies. Collect the HMG and just spread up and down. Uh, should die pretty easily. If you okay, so we're gonna take the top route. The top route is the fastest. Uh, it's like the speed run route. So two grenades and some HMG will take down these crabs on uh, on level four. You can be you can be like pretty uh, pretty crazy with the ammunition on this stage. Doesn't really matter. You're gonna be getting a power suit anyway coming up. So just keep going right. And bombing, avoid the firebomb. It should home in onto your uh, position, and it's pretty easy to dodge. If the further you go right, the more PW, POWs you actually uh, rescue. Uh, that's just an optional thing, though. You don't really need it. So the second phase, he just shoots a cannon at you, and as long as you stay on the right, uh, it'll always miss. Super easy, boss. Going into stage two. Uh, stage two it actually jumps in difficulty quite a bit. Um, we have a lot of zombies here that take multiple hits to kill. Um, the bile from the zombies can actually turn you into a zombie and you'll be extremely slow and you won't be able to jump very high but your bomb will be insane. Your bomb will like take up the entire screen and almost one shot everything. Okay, so you want to go down here and take the bombs from the president. Get the cloud shot. You could just jump over these guys. You don't have to kill them. Shoot these zombies down here and get the POWs in the corner, optional. Get the chaser. Spam chaser while running down here. And it should be another motorcycle passing my house. Great. Gotta love it. <laughs> um, get those grenades and spam the grenades on those choppers as soon as they spawn in on the left. And then collect the flame shot. Um, as long as you bomb those choppers, they should go down 
very fast. You don't want to get caught in the middle with enemies coming from both sides and the choppers above you. That's extremely dangerous. So I'm not going to actually take the Iceman route here. I'm going to just collect the bombs. And then I'm going to go right. Extra bombs goes a long way. <laughs> and you can just pistol down these guys. You don't really need a lot of ammunition at this part. Really easy chopper here to kill. Get the rocket. Then you can either spam rockets on these guys or just jump over them. They have such a long wind up time with their attack, you can just run up and jump over them pretty much. These guys, you could actually duck under or jump over, but I don't duck under in this replay. But it's really just easy to duck under and let them jump over you. Okay, so here, the thing to know about this boss is that you don't want to kill these guys one by one. You actually want to soften all these guys up and then kill them all in one go. So that's what I'm going to do here. I used all my rockets and I'm just trying to evenly distribute the damage while dodging these energy balls. So they should soon be at a part where I, I can just spam nades and kill them all in one shot. If you don't, it's actually really dangerous. They start shooting plasma, plasma at you at very high speeds. Second phase, these glyphs will laser down on you. All you have to do is move left to right. Pretty self-explanatory, because um, that's the only attack that it does. Really easy second phase. Use the remainder of your bombs while dodging those, and it should go down pretty easily. You could, I forgot to mention at that boss, you can turn yourself into a zombie and you can kill that boss under 10 seconds. But that's that takes some practice. I'm not very good at doing it. So, stage 3 here. We're going to be underwater and we're going to take the under the underground path, I guess you can say. Get the extra grenades from the second POW here and that's all you really need. And then you're going to take the underground path. Jump into the submarine. You just want to shoot, shoot, shoot at these guys steadily and uh, just waste all your torpedoes on these giant battleships. They're pretty dangerous if you let them live for too long. You can take your time here. A little in the hunt section. Same thing. Waste your torpedoes on these guys. You can use quite a bit of bombs here, because uh, they're pretty generous with the bomb pickups on this section. And see, uh, eject your ship into the left final gray ship for style points. You want to use the remainder of your chaser to take out these cameras.
okay? Just keep in mind, uh, if these cameras see you, they can shoot a laser at you full screen. So, if they spot you, uh, you want to be careful. You want to kill them as soon as you can or, you know, duck. Do whatever you need to do to get out of their side of path. Okay. So this part is tricky. You really have to uh, clear soldiers fast at this part. You want to run forward and bomb these guys immediately. And then go right. Kill those shield guys. Don't let this bazooka, de bazooka dude do anything. Uh, kill the guys up here from the bottom. And then from the top. Don't let them spawn. Don't let them do anything. If they spread out, it's super dangerous. You most likely are going to die. <clears throat> and you can just go up the elevator. You don't really need to deal with those snipers on the bottom. Kill the suit guy coming up here and take his suit as soon as you can. If you don't, one of those soldiers will actually run up and steal it. And then you won't be able to get it back. <clears throat> Use a bomb on these guys, take them out, the laser shot. You want to jump up here, get the shotgun, bomb these guys on the bottom, <clears throat> jump back in. Bomb the remainder and wait. Unless you need the gas, just wait so you don't get rid of your uh, you don't get rid of your shotgun or your laser. So this guy, he's pretty easy. Um, he he could be hard, could be difficult. Um, you just want to be careful when he does this attack with the homing missiles. And just abuse the iframes from jumping in and out of the suit. Like that, while shooting upwards with a shotgun. The shotgun deals tons of damage. Most damaging weapon in the game, besides the flame shot. So if he does homing missiles here, you could actually despawn a few of them, as long as you stay on the left there, but I didn't need to, apparently. Just keep firing up. The shotgun wastes this boss pretty fucking fast. And then moving on to stage four. First part of this stage is actually, I would say it's the most tricky. You don't want to get rid of this camel slug. You really want to keep this slug. Just keep firing forward at these guys. Um, you want to bomb this helicopter, yeah. Bomb it a few times. And then watch out from the with, with the soldiers in the front. Bomb those choppers. While bombing the soldiers in the front. It looks kind of difficult, but... As long as you bomb those helicopters, and they'll go down pretty fast. Um, this sandbag is important. You really want this POW. His name is Hiakutaro. And he shoots a Kamehameha blast. Which actually does quite a bit of damage. He's actually very helpful. You always want to get him. Anywhere you can get him, you always want to get him. So just keep mowing down the guys in front, make sure the guys in back don't run up on you. And same thing here, you want to grenade the helicopters up top, grenade the tanks, and just keep firing up right. Make sure the guys from the back don't hit you. I think that part um, is hardest for most new players. 
It's hardest to learn that. Okay, so here there are multiple paths. Um, you, outside the pyramid, I could have gone upward, but I'm going to go down. I'm going to take this little hatch here and go down um, into like this uh, underground cave. The forward path is the hardest. It's ancient Japan, and this is the underground cave. Also the longest. I think I'm pretty sure this path is a scoring path. Like if you're doing score runs. So kill these crabs. They spawn left and right. Flame shot should take them out in one hit always. Hit the iron lizard. Same deal. You don't want to let these grubs get too close to you. These grubs get too close to you, they will kill you. They kind of spit out a liquid, which, um, if it comes in contact with you, you die. Um, it has quite a, they, they actually telegraph it, so it's pretty easy to avoid, but. So just keep blasting them with the iron lizard, you don't really need to conserve here that much. You can also use your bombs too, because you're not going to be using your bombs anyway with the upcoming boss. Yeah, kill those crabs. One shot. A few bombs and like three shotgun shots should be able to take out this big crab. You don't want to get hit by the claw attack. It can ram into you and stun you. But the claw attack, you don't want to get hit by. And then here we have the brain bug from Starship Troopers. I always call this the Starship Troopers route because of these fucking brain bugs. It's definitely a reference to Starship Troopers. And this route, as you can see, there's lots of stuff to score off, including a lot of secrets that I'm not getting. But yeah, a lot of opportunity to get score in this route. Look at all those vegetables. So I'm going to take the laser here. Shotgun is good versus the boss, but I'm more comfortable using the laser. So these little snail dudes, uh, you don't want to let them vomit on you. If they get too close, um, they'll actually, you know, telegraph when they're going to vomit on you. They kind of like wiggle their head around like that. And then, yeah, you don't want to get hit by that. Press jump to avoid any weapon pickups you don't want. You can get the extra ammunition before the... Uh, the locusts show up. <clears throat> Excuse me. And just keep avoiding those weapon pickups you don't want. Eject your suit and waste all your bombs. Make sure you get the laser here. I like picking laser because you get double the ammunition going this way. All right, so this is the hardest or second hardest boss in the game. You can't use grenades on him, so. He's being pretty generous here. Um, he has one attack, which is yellow bullets. I just call it the yellow bullets. And it's basically random. The trajectory is random. And that's what you don't want for this boss. Everything else is okay. So doing pretty good here. The red is homing. It's a really fast homing shot. You know, it can deal with it pretty easily. Just go left and right to dodge it. 
Oh, I get a little unlucky here. This is where I'm panicking. But I do dodge quite well and I get unlucky again. And then I get lucky. So if you survive that, you actually get quite a bit of score with all those POWs. There's a lot of POWs on the stage. <clears throat> Moving on to final stage. Um, this is the longest stage in the game. Uh, you want to take the plane here. Um, the plane is the best to use at this part. You just want to hug the top left and just fire as much as you can in a straight line. And then try to take out these planes when they appear above, uh, below you. It's not too difficult. They go down pretty quick, you know. If they get ahead of you, you can just toss a few bombs. That's all right. You want to keep your plane for the first half of this area, and then you can actually get rid of this plane and get a new one. So you're going to be running into a lot of these trucks here, and there's going to be a lot of soldiers trying to shoot shit at you the whole time. And we're going to have a few tanks and a rocket, like a mortar thing. Um, anyway. Just get behind this plane. Use some bombs. It won't actually deal damage to you if you go into that plane. And for here, use one bomb and then just focus the chopper down and, you know, just avoid the, the soldiers a little bit. You want to stay low to the ground most of the time here. Okay, so here, I could have taken the bomb, but I decided not to. I didn't need to. You want to blow up the trucks. If you blow up the trucks, you don't actually have to blow up the tanks. Um, it'll automatically destroy them if you destroy the truck first. Alright, so that thing always drops a bomb. Just use a bomb on it and you'll get 10 extra bombs. And then at the end here, you will get a chopper. You will always get a chopper at the end here. And this attack... This is the worst attack this mini boss can use. The random, these little random balls that like bounce everywhere and shit. Um, yeah, that's the worst attack it can use. Everything else is manageable. Okay. So once you do enough damage, Alan will start coming out of the ship and he will throw grenades at you. And if you go high enough, he'll actually shoot his weapon at you. But if you stay below, he'll just use grenades. There's actually a strategy where you could actually save spot this boss, but I'm actually not good at doing it anymore. I used to know how to do it, but I don't use it anymore, so it's like whatever. Anyway, pretty easy pattern to dodge here. And then eject your ship at the end and then collect the HMG. You're going to need the HMG for the part coming up. You just want to fire forward at this part. Take out the guy up top. Keep firing forward. And then now we're up to another mini boss, I guess. You have to fight Morden. Same idea as with the slug for this part. You want to use the turret for iframes. You want to jump out of the turret. Um, at times you're about to get hit. <laughs> and uh, keep your turret and at this angle that I'm at. 
usually. That way, if he decides to do point-blank missiles, you'll destroy them immediately. So I couldn't get all of them, so if you can't actually get all of them, just jump off and go up the stairs and then kind of loop around and go back to the turret. Same thing here, but get a little, a little ballsy here. Getting some unlucky RNG right here. You see, I stay at this angle, and he, if he tries to point blank, he can't kill me. That's probably one of the most dangerous attacks you can use. Because if you're not ready, um, you can barely react to that. It's really hard to react to that attack. Alright, so... Marco's going to get abducted here. And then you're going to get Theo. This is why I always play Marco. Because I get to play Theo after. We're going to go on to the, I guess, the second phase of the level. The second part of the level. This is the shmup section. A lot of people say they don't like this section, but I actually think it's kind of fun. This game feels long to people, right? It feels long at first, but it's... At most, it's like... It's like a 50-minute game. It's like pretty standard, you know? I think people complain because most of the game is the final stage. So it just feels like the game is really long just because the stage takes up most of the game. The, the final stage takes up most of the game. Anyway, just stay to the right here. You don't actually have to dodge these meteorites. Collect the laser. You want to shoot these things using the laser. The laser will actually create lag. So you can dodge these things and and uh, destroy them easier. Pretty good. Now here you want to destroy this meteorite. Asteroid. Get the HMG and just... Kind of like go in between these guys. You don't actually have to blow them all up unless you want score. You want the shotgun for this part. But I actually... I mess up pretty bad at here. And this is why I wanted to keep this. I was going to redo it, but I said, you know, it, it might be better if I actually just commentate over this run uh, just to show you what you shouldn't do if you're trying to play safe in this game and go for a one credit run I thought this would be a better example anyway coming up here we got the UFOs we're going to have these UFO carriers coming up Now here, here is where I mess up. I mess up pretty badly here. I probably should have just used all my grenades and played it safe. Because I actually got 10 extra grenades here. Um, I didn't have a weapon and I was kind of getting swamped. And then I got hit twice. I didn't realize I got hit twice. And then I got hit a third time. And then, yeah, lost my spaceship is really fucking dangerous. If you are going for one credit run and this happens, um, you might lose your credit. Unless you really know the stage layout, like I do. And the, uh, you know, the enemy layout.
Okay, just gonna take out these remainder UFOs and try to destroy this carrier here. If I had the shotgun, this this part would be over already. We'd already be in the spaceship. So now you have to destroy the mothership door or the mothership entrance. Um, you get a lot of weapon pickups here. And that, that laser is always homing. But if you go hard left or hard right, it can't actually reach you. It's pretty... It's not too hard to handle. Now, if I had my spaceship going to this part, I actually would be able to obtain a weapon power-up, which gives me two extra turrets. And it's actually really good, but it also lags your game a lot. And that's the, the upside of having your spaceship in this part. So you want to, whenever you see these little eyeball aliens floating around and there's a red one, you want to shoot the red one first. Uh, that'll cause a chain reaction and kill the rest. If you're doing this part, I suggest you save state and learn the enemy layout because you're going to be getting hit here a lot unless you actually memorize it. You do get a few gas pickups in this area. If you get hit before this, um, yeah, you get a few gas pickups. So you can afford a few errors, but um, yeah. So I'm just going to laser through this alien wall. Kill the rest of these guys. When I was doing this run, I wasn't really that worried because I memorized everything. If they come from the bottom, stay up top or loop around like that, like what I just did. But normally you want to stay up top and then, then slowly go downward. All right, blast through the next alien wall. There's going to be like two here. If you run out of ammo, it's okay. Even if it's from the start, it's okay. That wall will always explode. I used to think that I wouldn't be able to kill this thing and I'll get crushed, but um, it's not the case. Alright. So, yeah, I messed up there a little bit. Also, if you get the, the red ones, they actually give you a shit ton of points if you get the chain reaction going. As you can see, that was like 50,000, 10,000. So you loop around like that. As long as you memorize the enemy layout here, it's not too bad. This part, you just slowly go upward, shoot the center, and then it should be one final wall. And then we got the UFO rush at the end, which I like to eject my suit into the, all of them at once, but I don't have my suit, so I used a couple grenades, which is okay. All right, so third section of the mothership, or I guess this second section. You want to shoot up here and get POW Hiyakotaro. He actually helps a lot here. Seriously, get him. Always get him if you're doing this part. If you don't memorize where it is, or if you didn't see where it was, just go back and, you know, slow it down, do whatever you need to do. So I'm going to use my pistol here to kill these aliens first and then tank the flame shot. 
to preserve ammo. You want to kind of you want to get two aliens or three aliens per shot with the flame if you can. And then use the rest of your flame shot on these uh, these robots. You can run up at this part and knife those aliens, but I'm not confident in doing that. So I kind of just stay back here and use my pistol with the POW. And he actually... He does the most work at this part. And then what you're going to do is you're not going to go forward. You're going to knife these remainder two aliens and then you're going to let him um, hit this, this spot up top, top right. And that will give you 10 extra bombs from this president dude. There you go. You want those bombs. You really want those bombs. So this part, you just pistol. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to mention. There's actually a knife canceling technique in this game. Um, all you need to do is crouch and press attack. But while you're doing your knife animation, you're going to turn left and then turn right you're kind of canceling your knife animation with left and right and if you do it um, you can get like multiple knife hits in extremely fast alright so this part I really don't like this part I never I ne even with practice I don't like it um, there's just a bunch of exploding spiders and you have to knife them all don't try to run past them and shit just stay back here and try to knife them all one by one. They're really annoying. Especially on level 8. On level 8, these things are a nightmare. You actually have to use knife canceling at this part. Yeah, so take your time here. Keep knifing them in this corner. They do eventually stop coming, so you don't have to worry about that. So move forward here. You could actually despawn these guys, but I'm not. I don't. I don't play like that. <clears throat> I usually don't despawn enemies. So just stay under its eye right here and shoot upward. But try to try to kill the spiders. And, you know, when it starts smoking a lot like that, um, if you can gauge when it's going to die, you know, try not to kill it when there's a spider near you, because that's extremely dangerous. You won't have anywhere to run. You'll be trapped. So, same deal here. You want to keep knifing these spiders. And you want to use a few bombs on this guy. Take the satellite and then just run... Run and jump past these third wave of spiders. You don't actually have to knife these guys. You can just run past them. That was uh, that could have been bad right there. Okay, so a good tactic you can use here is you can jump over these little uh, these little balls because they're actually random on the third walker there um, the way those balls like um, like hop around the room um, it's actually random it's not the same so what you can do is you can jump over them to completely avoid trying to guess that so here you want to time this for here, you want to use a audio cue for when you want to dodge these, um, when you want to start dodging these plasma blasts. For the first part, anyway. 
and then once you dodge the first one, it's just hard left, hard right, hard left, hard right, etc. It's not too hard. But yeah, um, learn the audio cue for that part. And here, where you're going to fight the clones. Apparently, they've been cloning Marco in this ship, and they made a shit ton of clones. We have to blast down. And here, we get the slug. Make sure you they're not too close when you get it. And then just jump in and uh, prepare to take down this walker. You're just going to use grenades on him. And the turret. And then you get an armor piercer. This weird thing happened where this robot blocked that little ball bouncing around. That was kind of funny, but... There's going to be three up front, and then there's going to be a few in the back here. If it shoots the ring at you, just press down and jump. You know, get those iframes. Alright, just jump out. If you don't know what the term iframe means, it's invincibility frames. I don't know if I explained that or not, but now you know. So we're just going to kill the rest of these clones coming up here. And there's going to be a flame shot. Take the flame shot and just hold back. If you're in a slug, you can actually just hold back here and they'll all run into the slug. You don't actually have to fire at all, but I'm doing it anyway, just because I feel like it. And then eject the slug into the door here, because you don't need it anymore. Alright, so I know I'm like fat as fuck right now. But you're going to instantly become skinny and try to use as much flame shot here on this um, this glass thing before taking the HMG. And then just stay up front here, collecting HMG and killing these clones. I would say this is probably one of the most dangerous parts of this run. There's a lot of room for error in this room. If you see the Marcos, if you see the clones standing in front of you for too long, you're most likely going to die. You can't let them idle by themselves for too long, otherwise it's really dangerous. So once you get around 900 HMG, you want to go to the back here. Just start working your way to the back and you can jump and shoot. This is kind of like a a safe tactic right here. This copy pretty much, you know, spray up and down once in a while. Don't let them walk towards you and this part is pretty much free. You can walk forward and get extra HMG. It's a little risky, but you can... I didn't... I didn't do it in this run. I figured I already had enough HMG, so I just went with that amount. Okay, so now we have zombie clones. Great. You know what that means. It means they can vomit on you and kill you full screen. So you want to blast down that door. You don't need to use grenades. Kill this first clone, kill the second one, and there's going to be a third one coming up here. This one has bombs. You can actually just chill here and take the bombs and wait. You really want those extra bombs, trust me, they go a long way. So blast down the door, wait for them to vomit, knife cancel these remaining three zombies, 
and this guy will drop a flame shot. You want to kill that guy really fast. He's he's kind of dangerous. He flips around. He can do something random. And here you're pretty safe. Just keep using your bombs and firing at the door. Um, they can actually the zombies can't vomit at you from this angle. So just keep doing just copy what you see here and you'll be fine. So yeah, same thing here. It looks like those rings should be able to hit you, but they can't as long as you stay in the pit. Eject the suit and take the new one. Here we're going to come up to these red brain aliens and you want to jump, double jump over that drop shot. You do not want the drop shot here. It is one of the worst weapons you can have. So the second one is dead and you want to jump over the third one. Blast down the door and then eject the suit. And if it's not dead, use a few flame shot. It's okay. If you don't blast down that door fast enough, you're pretty much dead. So you want to use whatever you can have, whatever you have, whatever your resources are. So if you made it up to this part with the flame shot and the bombs, you're in really good condition. You're in a really good situation. Because now all you have to really do is worry about your positioning during the Root Mars boss fight and um, you know using your iframes hopping in and out of the slug um, correctly. You want to be able to get all your flame shot off. Uh, the flame shot is what does the hefty chunk of damage during this boss fight. It does a ton of damage. So you really want the flame shot for this fight. If you're playing on a level 8, flame shot is mandatory. If you don't get it, you're you're probably going to time out. Even if you survive, you're probably going to time out on this boss. That's how ridiculous it is. So here I get lucky and I get a rocket. Jump in, jump out, get some bombs. Now you can actually if you're if you're confident enough you could actually stand on the stitch where my character is right there and the fire ring will not it will not kill you I don't know why um, I guess maybe it's like an error in the programming but um, it's like a safe spot kind of everything else is random like these little green balls coming out of his mouth at random so you always want to have your metal slug alive at this part see use the iframes hop out i get a little lucky there i that was this good that was good judgment there that was this all a good judgment yeah See, I get unlucky here with the drops. Iframe again. No, I missed the... Uh, the orange ones have weapons inside. They can have either weapons or they can have point items. Or bombs. So... There's a lot of RNG going on with this boss fight. Jump in again. Oh, I get unlucky. I had to jump out. Oh, I got unlucky again. And then the boss is dead anyway. Hey, and I honestly thought I had five more in-game seconds to go with this boss, but it seems the amount of grenades that I used and the using all the flame shot actually did a huge chunk of damage. So I guess it was enough. Plus all the uh, the rocket launcher ammo I used. So yeah, that's all you really need to know with this run. As you can see, I have better runs that I've gotten, but this one run is pretty good. I was in third place.
And uh, that's it. That's the end of this run.